Good morning, guys. We are starting out with some fog out there this morning. It's been tough to see outside of the camera because of that fog. 44 degrees right now in Springfield, and we're down to a half a mile visibility. We're down to three miles visibility in Fort Leonard, Wood, two and a half in Rawa, and a quarter mile in Fayetteville. So be careful that visibility is patchy to locally dense at times. Uh, we've got temperatures a little bit cooler by about five degrees in spots, starting out at 44 in Springfield, 44 degrees in Mountain Grove, and it is 45 in Branson. So patchy fog uh, will be a road hazard for you this morning. Then we're looking at some dry conditions through the afternoon. We'll have lots of sunshine today and temperatures warming up nicely, getting into the lower 70s on some steady southerly winds. By tonight, we'll have temperatures staying mild in the 50s. Tomorrow, 80 degrees. That would be the first 80 degree day this year. And uh, it would be two degrees shy of record. The record for tomorrow is 82 from 1910. So a very warm day tomorrow. Showers and thunderstorms by Friday on a strong cold front with temperatures in the 70s. That should be enough to fuel some strong and severe storms by Friday. You can see we have that marginal and slight risk for the Ozarks. Uh, what we need to pin down, though, is the timing of that severe window, the specific threats of that severe window. Any rain would aggravate our flooding conditions. And we will have some cooler temperatures roll in by the the weekend. The core of that cold might not get here until Sunday, where we have highs cooler around 61 degrees. Jill, Lauren. We have breaking news as Prince Charles, the heir to the British throne, has tested positive for the coronavirus. The 71-year-old is showing mild symptoms of COVID-19 and is self-isolating at a royal estate in Scotland. His wife has tested negative. Buckingham Palace said Queen Elizabeth II remains at her home in Windsor. Officials say Prince Charles last saw her on March 12th. A stay-at-home order for Springfield and Greene County will go into effect at midnight tonight. It does not affect essential businesses. There are a lot of those broken down by category. Grocery stores will stay open for you, as will medical facilities like hospitals, blood and plasma donation centers. Also, residential and home care, along with child care facilities, will remain open. Restaurants can still do pickup, drive through and delivery services, as hotels will also remain open. Lawn care services can stay open, and building supply stores, too. Funerals will have to have no more than 10 people at a time. Also on the list, repair shops, mailing services, homeless services, and laundromats. There's actually over 30 different categories of essential businesses. Community groups serving the homeless are adapting to a new normal as COVID-19 guidelines and city ordinances change daily. Color 10's Nyjah McDonald reached out to local leaders to find out a little bit more about their plan. Nyjah. Well, good morning, Lauren. Groups like the Kitchen and Victory Mission say volunteers are the backbone of their organizations, adding while the way they serve may look different, their missions remain the same. Now, community groups say the homeless crisis that existed in Springfield before the pandemic is still ongoing. And while CDC guidelines have forced them to change the way they serve, Malia Spencer of the Kitchen says these organizations remain essential. The foster part is going to come in so crucial that we don't want to get to capacity. The only way that we're not going to be able to do, not do that at this time is if we do find fosters. Well, again, later this morning, our local COVID-19 task force will hold a press briefing to address the impact the new shelter in place order has on the homeless population. We'll have live coverage for you at midday. All right. We will look forward to that. Thank you, Nigel. Looking around the world now in another step forward for China, the Great Wall in Beijing has partially reopened after being closed for almost two months due to the coronavirus outbreak. The daily number of visitors is capped at 19,500. Visitors must book tickets in advance and register with personal information to get a health code. Temperatures are taken upon entry as well. The Cableway, the China Great Wall Museum, the Ancient Great Wall, and some other sections remain closed. Closed. New Delhi in India was almost deserted on Wednesday after its 1.3 billion population in India altogether was ordered to stay home. People could be seen lining up outside pharmacies and grocery stores to stock up on supplies. India has recorded 562 cases of COVID-19 and 10 people have died. The unprecedented move to lock down was aimed at preventing the virus from spreading and overwhelming its fragile health care system as it has done in parts of Europe. And some news around the region. The economy continues to slow, 
So are businesses, meaning the number of people getting laid off is going up. Ozark Beer Company in Rogers, Arkansas is suffering from that at the moment. Governor Asa Hutchinson ordered all state restaurants and bars to close sit-down service, so the company has had to lay off 15 people. Ozark Beer will still sell through a drive through option and also supply to restaurants and liquor stores, but the owners will be working for free while they try to save their business. Well, to know that this action for us isn't us giving up, but us really digging into this and trying to find a way to be here when, uh, when this all blows over. That was Lacey Bray you just heard from. She says that Ozark Beer can survive for about three months with the current situation before they have to reevaluate. But she also says this is the time for communities to really work to save small businesses they'd like to see survive. In more local news, to reduce the spread of COVID-19, Drury University has announced it's closing its student housing. Students have until Friday to pack, turn in their keys, and leave campus. Some students we spoke with were upset they were not given more notice before that decision was made. Drury also announced yesterday it will become a test optional institution beginning in the fall of 2021. This means that standardized tests like the ACT or SAT will not be required. Instead, students will submit a 250 to 500 word essay. This move is a bit timely as standardized tests are being canceled to help stop the coronavirus spread. We go now to take a look at what's coming up for you on CBS This Morning. Coming up, the White House and the Senate agree to a coronavirus bailout bill, what the package means for Americans and businesses, plus the massive effort to provide new medical facilities for COVID-19 patients. Coming up on CBS This Morning. And a couple of trends happening. Uh, one of those items is our breaking news from this morning that uh, Prince Charles has been diagnosed positive for the coronavirus. He, of course, is the heir to the throne. He is Queen Elizabeth II's son. That's right. He's 71 years old, showed mild, symptom, mild symptoms there, and uh, he's now in Scotland at a royal estate self-quarantining, right? I saw the message uh, that came from Buckingham Palace and said there's really no way to tell where he might have gotten the virus because he has been carrying on with social gatherings and his appearances over the last few weeks. His wife has tested negative too. Yeah, Important to point right. out there, right? And then of course, we've also got big talk about the Senate stimulus bill that has been agreed to, not voted on yet, that'll happen today, but this news came out after midnight that there is a $2 trillion bill to help this economy out a little bit. That amounts to $500 billion in loans for big businesses, nearly $400 billion in grants and loans for small businesses, and also a one-time cash payment for most working Americans. We've gotten a lot of questions from viewers about you know, that money that Trump has said may come out to Americans. So that is being worked into the stimulus bill. That is, and a lot of people probably in need of that. Mm -hmm. And they've been talking about that for a couple of weeks now. So this is that first kind of push that they've gotten to actually go somewhere. With yeah, it. it's been about since the weekend. They've been mm -hmm. trying to go back and forth about something to agree on to, get, to go for. And a lot of Americans can certainly use a payment right there to try and help out the economy a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. At least mm -hmm. so we see sunshine behind you. That's some good news, right? Yeah, temperatures are really going to warm up today and tomorrow. We're looking at highs in the 70s today. 80 degrees tomorrow. If we hit it, that would be two degrees shy of record. The record is 82 from 1910. We'll have showers and storms by Friday, some of which could be strong to severe, cooler 60s this weekend. All right, everyone, stay home, stay safe. Thanks for watching Daybreak on this Wednesday morning.